This is the CoverGirl Queen collection and this collection has a variety of shades which is basically targeted towards the woman of color. Hey you guys, it's Missy Lynn and today I'm here with a collective haul for you guys. I have been on a buying rampage lately and I just felt the need to share all of this with you guys because um, I did buy most of these items recently so hopefully you guys will see something in this haul that you like and you can get on the website and order them because I just uh, recently bought it. I recently went to IMAX LA over the weekend and I bought a few beauty products. I didn't spend most of my money on the beauty products this time because IMAX LA was recently six months ago and they ended up changing the date so I pushed up to January 2013 of June 2013 um, so it you know it was a six month increment between the last IMAX and this IMAX so I still had a lot of products that I hadn't used uh, from the last IMAX so I just grabbed a few items that I had ran out of and that I used uh, more regularly more frequently so I will share the beauty items with you guys first I ended up going to the booth called Beauty Treats and I love, love, love their makeup remover wipes. In my last IMAX haul, um, you guys know that I purchased uh, these makeup remover wipes and I love them because they're like scented and it smells so good and it's great for like sensitive skin as well. So that's another reason why I loved it because it smells good, it's great for sensitive skin and it takes all the makeup off with one wipe. So I ended up getting six. They were two for five so I ended up uh, buying six for fifteen dollars um, and I bought two of the cucumbers um, I bought two of the green tea and then I bought the alloy and then the apricot I went to Nigel's Beauty Emporium's booth and they were having a deal on the Beauty Blender sponge. I believe the Beauty Blender sponge by itself was one for fourteen but they sold a pack for um, $30, $32 and it came with three so I love this beauty blender sponge and I wanted a whole bunch of them great for a kit great for blending out it makes my foundation and my full face application just go on really smoothly it gives me that airbrush look when blending out um, with this beauty blender so I bought a three pack of the beauty blender sponges and then I went to another booth and I bought 12 of the red cherry lashes they were 12 for $20 so I you know it I felt like you couldn't beat that. Individually, they were $2 a piece, so that would have came out to like $24, but I ended up getting $12 for $20, so that worked uh, perfectly. I went to the Sigma booth, and I ended up buying an angle kabuki brush, and this is the F84. I do have the F80, which is a flat top kabuki brush, right and for buffing out the foundation and giving a really flawless look, so I wanted to try the angle kabuki brush, and this was on sale for $12, so I, you know, I really couldn't beat that so I ended up getting that and then they also gave away another like eyeliner brush that I really really love I have two from last year and I'm glad that um, I was given a third one so this was like a free gift and then I also went to Sigma's um, event last night it was like a exclusive private event and they invited a few of the beauty youtubers to come to a little gathering and it was like basically a launch party for their new palette, uh, eyeshadow palette that's coming out. So this is the Resort palette and it's very, very, very pretty. It's coming out around springtime and um, they ended up giving us a chance to see it and to try it out before it actually launches publicly. So I'm just going to give you guys a sneak peek of the colors. So it comes with all different types of eyeshadow colors and then it also comes with a blush. And then down here it comes with a liquid highlighter. And then this bottom thing here is a, I want to say, eyeliner pencil. Yeah, it's like brown and then there's a blue. It's like a double end and there's a brown and then there's a blue on this side. And the colors are really, really, really pretty. And I probably will end up doing a tutorial with this palette eventually. So just be on the lookout for um, Sigma's Resort Palette that's coming out in the springtime. I ended up going to Stila Cosmetic um, Booth. And thanks to Sunkiss Alba here on YouTube, she uh, raved about their concealer. And it's the Perfecting Concealer. And I wanted to try it out. She was wearing it at the time. And 
it had a really good coverage and it just looked very 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 blendable so I ended up getting a concealer and I ended up getting shade F because I wanted to use it as a highlighting concealer and I love it because it, it wasn't like too too creamy and not too liquidy if that makes sense it was just the perfect like consistent consistency that I really 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 liked and I was just blown away at the coverage I don't know if you guys can see this swatch here because it's like it blends into my skin kind of sorta I don't know if you guys can see it or not so I'm very anxious to uh, try this concealer Sunkiss Alba, Alba, her name is Alba but her, her YouTube name is Sunkiss Alba she doesn't have any problems with it creasing so that's a good thing because I do look for concealers that has full coverage that um, isn't you know non-blendable and doesn't have like a really cakey consistency a cakey finish you know so she recommended this and I ended up getting it I also ended up stopping by the Keisha Kaior lipstick booth and I have been seeing a lot of my uh, Facebook friends buying the Keisha Kaior lipsticks like people that's not even on YouTube they have been just purchasing the lipsticks because they have very colorful lipsticks and it's very um hydrating they say it's not like too matte to where it dries out your lips it has a very like smooth and glossy finish so i ended up getting three of the lipsticks and um i ended up getting capricorn which is a pretty pinkish coral color i ended up getting kaor force which is a very pretty teal color and then i ended up getting um raquel which is a beautiful lavender color and this is the one that i really wanted the most after swatching it so I managed to put the swatches here on my hand and I will do a close up. So this is the Kaor Force, the Capricorn and Raquel. I'm in love with this color here. Oh my gosh. I love, love, love this color. And then I went to LA Splash's booth and they, I don't know, I feel like it was overpriced. I'm not too sure. I have to go to like Ulta to see and compare prices as well as get online. but. I felt like it was overpriced. Um, I ended up buying a LA Splash Diamond Liquid Liner in black. And then I ended up buying the LA Splash Splash Proof Eyeliner Sealer and Base. And this is really, really great for like glitter. It's like a really uh, good glitter adhesive. And I used to use this in the past and I ended up losing it with my move here to Cali. But um, I ended up buying another one and this was $7 as well. So after I met Alvin, I decided to walk across to the Paseo, which is like an outdoor mall across from the convention center in Pasadena. And Bath and Body Works was having a sale and they were having a 3 for 10 on the uh, body products. So I ended up getting two body sprays and the lotion. And there was a new uh, fragrance that came out was the Aruba Coconut and then, yeah, was the Aruba Coconut. So I ended up getting the Aruba Coconut um, Body Mist and then the Aruba Coconut, Aruba Coconut Lotion. And it says that this is the 2013 Escape Collection. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to try it out. It's 3 for 10. So I ended up getting this set here and then a uh, Twilight Woods Fragrance fragrance mist that I really liked I you know when you go to body, Bath and Body Works and you spray a whole bunch of like scents your nose start burning after a while so eventually I was just like I'm just gonna get the uh, Twilight because I uh, had smelled it last and I really liked it I forgot like all the scents that I had smelled before that so I ended up getting this and then I wanted another candle and this was also a new fragrance this is the coconut leaves and it smells so good oh my gosh it smells amazing it smells like coconut and thank you Alba like you really made me stop and and smell it it, it smells good like I want to go back and return two of my three wick candles for this one here it smells so good mm -mm -mm. like this is a scent that just has a very like spring feel to it and spring is not too far around the corner so if you want your house to smell like coconuts and leaves and smell like you're like on an island oh my goodness oh i ended up going to this store called joe's joe's closet it's at the paseo as well and this is the and this is the bag for it very pretty and um 
thanks to Alba again, there was this green utility jacket that I had been eyeing. I know Forever 21 had one very, very, very similar that I've seen a lot of people with at IMATS. Um, but this one is like better of better quality. And thanks to Alba, um, she told me about this and I ended up picking one up. And this was like, it was $50 at the Joe's, um, Joe's Plus Closet. It was $50, but then they were having a buy one, get the other item for 50% off. So I ended up getting a really pretty shirt from there as well um, for only $20. This is the top here. It's a khaki, like sheer blouse with silver embellishment and silver sequins all around the collar and all the way down the button, um, the button area. So this was originally $48 and I ended up getting it for $24. So I was very satisfied with the quality and the price of this. And then I went to Q. This is a store that's very new. Um, I've been shopping there a lot lately. It's like Forever 21 type of uh, clothing for very, like, very, very, very cheaper prices, very inexpensive prices. So this is Q. And I went there as well. And I got um, this really cute top. I know I can't wear it now because it's uh, getting a little, I mean, it's a little chilly. But when it started getting hot, I can wear it. This is a leopard blouse. And it has like a little tie around the neck part and a, like an opening in the front. But then it, it buttons like by the breast area. And it will kind of show my stomach. But I do plan on wearing it with like my rider pants from Zara. So, you know, it'll like, it, it'll cover majority of my stomach. And this was only eight bucks at, um, at Q. And then I ended up getting this crop top turtleneck that's sleeveless, this teal one. And it's short as well. And, um, it was only $5. I ended up buying this beautiful scarf. Here and it was only eight bucks. It's a leopard with like blue, and I didn't realize how long it was and how much material, but I can make it work. So this is the pattern, and then I bought this pr really pretty dress that I want to wear for like Valentine's Day if I go somewhere. It's a red peplum dress. It's like a pinkish red. I call it I call it like a fruit punch color it's like a pinkish red and then there's a mesh um opening right here in the front so it kind of shows a little bit of cleavage but not too much so it's really great for like a first date if you're having your first valentine's day date this is really good because it covers majority of everything you know but it kind of shows just a little bit just a little bit of cleavage just a tad bit and then it's really form-fitting and it's a peplum dress and this dress was $15. Whoop, whoop. And then the last thing that I bought from Q was this really pretty uh, sweatshirt. It has an owl on it. And I like it because of the sleeves. That's what really caught my attention. It has like like slits in the, in the sleeve. And then um, it continues going down into a full sleeve. So I thought this, I thought this would be really cute with my coral uh, jeans. You know, I could, I could wear it now with some black boots. Or I could wear it, you know, closer to spring. And this was $11. And then I went to Macy's in the Paseo, which is in Pasadena. And they are closing down. So they are having a liquidation sale. So everything in the store is like discounted and on sale. So all the watches were on sale. And I ended up picking up a Michael Kors watch. And it was 30% off, originally $275. And I ended up getting it for 200 bucks, So I thought that was a really, really, really great deal. And then last week when I was getting ready for iMats, I didn't know what I was going to wear to iMats. So I was like browsing on Forever 21's website because all of the Forever 21's around me, around my location, doesn't have like really nice things. It sells out really, really, really fast. So everything that I see online, if I go to the store, they never have it. So I just ended up purchasing from Forever 21 online for the first time. And believe it or not, since it's based out of Cali, I got it like a, basically a day later because I ordered it at like 4 o'clock um, on a Wednesday. And then um, they processed the order on Thursday and then Friday I had it. So it was really fast. 
so I ended up buying this dress here. It's a black and white uh, vertical line dress and it's a peplum dress. Very form fitting. It's like a bodycon dress and um, I only paid $15 for it. I ended up buying this sweatshirt that I really, really like. It's a gray sweatshirt. I love the material. Um, it, it feels like it'll keep me very warm. And it has um, silver studs along the shoulder area that goes all the way around. So that's what I really, really, really liked about it. And this was $24.80. So I plan on wearing this with like skinny jeans. And then I bought a uh, black trucker snapback hat to go along with it so this is how I look with the snap back and then I purchased this hot pink blazer and I really needed a hot pink blazer I have every color blazer here on my garment rack but I didn't have a hot pink blazer and spring is coming up and I want to wear these with my cut up boyfriend jeans and just a plain white v-neck so I ended up getting that and it was $29.80 and it's very form fitting as well. And I like blazers that feels like it's tailored to my body. I hate like the square shaped blazers. It doesn't do anything for my figure. So I really, really, really like this blazer and I plan on just like folding the sleeves up. And then lastly from Forever 21, I ended up buying this really pretty um, pink dress here and it's really great for like um, dinners like if you plan on going to an evening dinner or some type of event you always need a like an evening type of dress and I felt like this was just perfect so I, know, I don't know when I'm going to go on another event but like when I went to San Francisco with Nitra B like we ended up going out and that would have been a really good time to have a dress like this although I love the dress that I, I chose to wear but this would also have been a very, very, very good pick for that occasion. So I would plan on wearing this with my nude pumps. And I like this because it's a very soft baby pink. And I wouldn't say that it's like a baby pink. I take that back. It's more of like a dusty pink. And that's the description of it. It's a dusty pink. And this dress was $32.80. So I'm, I'm very satisfied with this pick. And then it ties in the back as well. So... And then lastly, I have some shoes from JustFab.com. I'm in love with JustFab. You guys already know. So anytime I have a clothing haul, just be prepared to probably 9 times out of 10 see some JustFab shoes. Or just shoes in general. But um, I ended up getting two pairs of shoes from JustFab. And um, I don't know. I'm just in love. I ended up getting some teal pumps from JustFab. And these are the Davina. Yep, Davina. And it's size 7. And they're very comfortable. Um, there is the heel is like a four to five inch heel, so it's very, very, very high. And then the shoe is suede, and then there's like a patent leather type of material here in the front. I don't know if it's real leather or not. I highly doubt it, but I call it patent leather. And then there's an ankle strap here, so it gives it more of like a sexy look. And you and I believe you can take yeah, and you could take the strap off if you don't want to wear it. So. And then lastly, I have these black boots. These are the Amsterdam in size 7. They do fit true to size. And it's black boots with like a camel uh, brownish color buckles. There's three sets of buckle here that goes around the entire boot. And then you can see it in the back. And then there's like a brown heel. Very, very, very comfortable. The heel is about 4 inches. And um, it's about, yeah, about knee length. So I really love these boots. They're very comfortable and I can't wait to wear them. That is basically it for my collective haul. Like These are a lot, lot, lot of items and products. And I hope you guys see something in this collective haul that you like. Make sure to thumbs up this video, you know, so you can share it with your friends. And just thumbs it up if you like it in general. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate and subscribe.